will be sent to help uh, take care of orphans in an orphanage that we are uh, a part of today. I'm on the board of the orphanage. It's a great blessing to say that. We want to help support them. Also, uh, we're involved with food distribution. Uh, there are many people that maybe they're not as fortunate as you are at this time. And they actually need a hand up. They need help. Well, we're involved in helping acquire that food, distributing it out in many ways, more than one. So I've had the privilege of coming to you all year long, Monday through Friday, and bringing the, the message of 7 at 7, a word of hope, a word of joy, uh, how to have an overcoming life in an underperforming year, for sure. That's plenty of that in this uh, pandemic year. And uh, during December, though, I would like to talk to you for just a minute here about doing your part to help support that. And it's a way of saying thank you, uh, uh, Walter, for bringing the good news of Jesus to me. And I thank you for allowing me to do that. And I hope you share it with your friends also. It's free, obviously, to watch this, but from your heart, would you consider uh, supporting and sending a generous gift? You can actually text into uh, Walter Hallam Ministries. Walter Hallam Ministries is 832-772-2071. You know, the Bible says in the book of uh, Luke chapter 9, let me share this with you very quickly. In Luke chapter 9, there was a certain man, the Bible says, that came to Jesus. This would be in verse 57. And he said to Jesus, just, just right out of the bag, he just says, just, just kind of pops off when he says it. He says, Lord, I will follow you anywhere. Lord, anywhere you go, I will go wherever you go. And Jesus just looked at that man. And Jesus said uh, unto him, the foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests. But the Son of God has nowhere to lay His head. He said, listen, that's a very emotional thing that you just said. And the Bible doesn't even say that Jesus had spoken to that man. He obviously had heard about Jesus. And He just kind of makes this all-in, 100% commitment. Wherever you go, Jesus, I'm going where you go. Can I just remind you that your emotions uh, are literally tied to your, your mind, they're tied to your soul. And there's, there's something that should allow you to enjoy life and to experience life. But now listen to pastor here. Don't be led by your emotions. Uh, be led by wisdom. Be led by uh, making good choices. Be led by information. And then you can enjoy emotions. That's so important. Somebody once said that you have the ability to make your choices and choose your choices, but you can't choose your consequences. So when you make choices, when you decide to do something, make sure you've done that with uh, some forethought, with wisdom, and don't just let your emotions run past you. Emotions are there to be enjoyed. Sometimes they are there as an alarm, but they should not be what rule our lives. God gave you a good mind, he gave us His Word, and He gives you His Spirit. Ask God to teach you about that today. And I believe you will be balanced in your emotions in a very emotional year. And God will, will put you at a level keel, and you'll make a very wise, calculated decisions, and I believe God will bless you. Thank you for being with me today on 7 at 7. I'm Walter Hallam. I can't wait to see you on the next 7 at 7.